Well, many local police departments are weighing the pros and cons of body cameras. WSLS 10's Rachel Lucas follows up on a local police chief's decision not to push for the technology right now. After a national conversation and in an effort to be more transparent, police departments across our area are having their officers wear body cameras. But like Roanoke County, not everyone's on board. Today I spoke to a local police expert about why body cameras aren't a one-size-fits-all policy. I think this is an evolving uh, issue and there is still much to be learned. An investigative device that was developed to provide more answers still has a lot of questions. One of which for Roanoke County Police Chief Tim Hall is how to pay for it. At this point, I would not be comfortable uh, going to either the county administrator and the Board of Supervisors and asking for uh, the funding for that. He says a conservative estimate for Roanoke County is a quarter of a million dollars. When I was a police officer, we didn't have body cameras, but I'll tell you, if I was one now, I would want one. But even Todd Burke, professor of criminal justice and associate dean at Radford University admits it isn't a perfect solution. It is not the end all or be all. Burke says even if a department can afford it, doesn't mean it has all the answers. I relate this to sporting events. How many times have we watched the sporting event and we've watched the replay over and over again and we've seen it in slow motion and yet we still can't make the call. He says although early studies show a positive impact on behavior of officers and the public, there's still concern on how the video captured will be used and who will be allowed to see it. We shouldn't do a knee-jerk reaction to just get body cameras because, again, body cameras is not a silver bullet. It's just an investigative aid. But once you have those questions, these are serious questions that, that are going to be answered or should be answered, then it's worth looking into. Dr. Burke says he is in favor of body cameras, but in order for them to be effective, there has to be a uniform policy that both the department and the community can agree upon on how to use them. In Roanoke County, I'm Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10.